We're back on the last word. Our Skype hookup is not working. I'm joined on the phone now by Tony Hopfinger. Tony, what happened in this uh, situation you were in in Alaska where the, 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 his private security guards tried to arrest you? Yeah, this was a, a town hall meeting uh, open to the public at uh, uh, Central Middle School, which is a public school here in Anchorage. Uh, I and other journalists were there to uh, cover the event, see what Joe had to say, as well as maybe ask some questions afterwards. I tried to ask him a couple questions related to uh, when he was employed by the Fairbanks North Star Borough, which is uh, that's a, kind of the interior of Alaska, and Fairbanks is the second largest city. He, he used to work there as an attorney and had been accused of politicking on borough time. So I asked him about that, and as I was asking him, uh, he sort of walked away, and then I ended up kind of being surrounded by these security guards who were chest bumping me. And he, uh, he had been refusing to talk to reporters, hadn't he, recently? That's correct. And in fact, he did answer the question, uh, not last night, but today with CNN and admitted to uh, the accusation. Wait, wait, what did he admit to today? He, he, uh, he told CNN today that he confirmed that he had been doing using some computers at the borough to participate in some uh, polling activity uh, uh, while he was an attorney. Uh, now, Tony, uh, is there any history in Alaska of candidates being handled differently? Here's Joe Miller, who's now moving around with private security guards. Does that surprise Alaskans? Is that something new for them? Um, you know, I, I, we don't usually see security guards, even when... Uh, Sarah Palin was governor. She didn't walk around with bodyguards, you know, at least before you know McCain came along or any of that. So it is kind of different. And I, these guys weren't clearly marked as uh, security guards. After you know the, this confrontation, all of it, which lasted about thirty seconds tops, uh, from the time I asked Miller the questions to when I basically ended up in handcuffs. You know, at that point, I was taken over to a corridor of this school and detained for uh, twenty to thirty minutes. Uh, no one knew what had happened. I was the only reporter out there asking the questions. Uh, I want to also make sure that, you know, he's called me a liberal blogger. You mentioned I was a blogger. I'm not a blogger. I, I've been a journalist now for 15 years. I've worked in newspapers. I've done stuff for Bloomberg News, Newsweek. It's, um, so, you know, I, I'm just there trying to uh, cover, the, you know, a candidate who's running for U.S. Senate. Tony Hopfinger of the Alaska Dispatch, not a blogger. Tony, carry a copy of the Bill of Rights around with you whenever you go to those Joe Miller events, okay? <laughs> I'll be sure to bring that next time. Thanks, Tony.